Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your announcer. Today we're going to have a great interview, believe it or not, with Johnny Boy. How are you doing today, Johnny Boy? I'm doing pretty doggone good. I'll tell you what, I really enjoy having conversations with you. Well, hey, Johnny Boy, what you got on your plate today? What do you want to talk to us about? Well, I want to talk about my favorite place to go. And me and my family, we do this all the time. We go to our favorite place. Well, what is your favorite place that you like to go to? Well, we like to go to our local Walmart. <laughs> Did you say Walmart? <laughs> you mean you don't go to other places like for dinner and stuff? Oh no, they generally have a little restaurant or something in there, Mickey D's or something, and we just get our feet bag on and we just go down there to the local Wally Mart. <laughs> Did you say you go down to Wally Mart? Well, how often do you go? Well, it's always a special occasion. See, I live out in the country, and when you live out in the country the way we do, you know, you got to deal with, you know, nothing really going on. You know, you might be able to go do a radio once in a while, or maybe you can watch the corn grow, or you can watch the greens grass and all that stuff grow and watch a tree blow. But other than that, we don't have a lot of entertainment unless you got cable or you got one of them big old satellites that cost you an arm in the leg. And all you get to do is see the same damn channels over and over and over, and you spend a lot of money. Well, that sounds terrible. So you don't really have a lot going on out there in the country, huh? No, we live out in the real country, and you you know, I'd really enjoy watching the grass grow, but it's not my favorite show. <laughs> That's crazy. Are you telling me that you're out there watching the grass grow? Yeah, when you ain't got a lot, nothing to do. You know, one of the things we like to do is we got to go out there, you know, uh, over there to the pond and everything and, you know, get some firecrackers and get some uh, TNT. Don't tell nobody. And we'll drop it in there and we'll watch that pond go boom and it just blasts. And I'm going to tell you what, them fishes come uh, flying up to the top that we call that redneck fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call that redneck fishing? Oh, yeah, man. It's really cool. We go out there to the lake or to the pond or we go out there to the river or the creek. And we'll just drop us a little bit of that little TNT in there and boom. And I'll tell you what, them fishes started floating to the top and we got to get out there with no fishing rod. But we do like to get out there and wet a hook too sometimes. And, you know, that's what we like to do. Well, didn't you say that you like to go to Walmart? Well, why do you like Walmart? Well, you know, on occasion... Uh, I like to take my mom, my grandma, and the kids, and the friends, and all everybody gets in the pickup truck, and we all roll down there. Yeehaw! We get there, and man, it's real pretty. What do you mean it's real pretty? Well, they got this big old blue sign, and it's real nice. It's real pretty when you get up there, and it's got this big old smiley face, like the one you got on your shirt. Well, how can you tell I got a shirt with a smile on it? Well, we have our ways. We're country folks, and we will survive. <laughs> well, you kind of scared me a little bit. We're on the radio. We're on the air here. Well, let me ask you a question. So what do you like so much about the Walmart? Well, you know, my Walmart, it's a, a place where you can go and have a good time. And you can be there for hours and hours and hours and look at all the cool rows and rows of stuff that's just out there. And, you know, it's kind of fun. Uh, well, well, do you like to go and hang out there? Well, after a while, you know, I go sit in the parking lot. I'll sit in the parking lot and wait for old dear mom and grandma and everybody from you know to come in and get back in the car but i like to take my grandma a lot and normally we go out there you know a lot to the wally mart and a lot of times i say grandma what you need to get she always say the same thing i don't really need to get nothing <laughs> i don't need nothing i got plenty then i always look at her i say well mama grandma why are you always wanting to go up to the walmart she says it's just a cool place to hang out so that's what we do is we go down to the Wally Mart, and we hang out there. And what what happened? Well, let me ask you a question. So, what happens when you go shopping with your grandma, or your mama? What happens? Well, normally they always say they don't need nothing, but hours and hours later, and sometimes days later, it seems like they'll come out to the car. And I'm gonna tell you, they got 20 baskets. And I asked mama, I said, Grandma, what why in the world you got so many baskets? I thought you didn't need nothing. She always looked and say the same thing. Well, I didn't need nothing until I found something that I wanted. 
wanted to get. And I found a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't need, but I really wanted to get. <laughs> so I bought it. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, that's crazy because, you know, I love my grandma and everything. And she's kind of like a hoarder. What do you mean she's a hoarder? <laughs> well, she puts stuff in the house and it just stacks up in boxes and boxes. I mean, you can have too many boxes of cereal. You can have too many boxes of food and stuff. But we always got plenty because when we go to grandma's house, we always got plenty of food. We got all plenty of everything. And I mean, when there's a sale going on over at the Walmart, the Wally Mart, my goodness, she just loves to pick it up. You know, we got cups of coffee. We got different coffee brands and different blends and all kinds of crap. And she's got a bunch of freezers out there at the house. I mean, just to stack it up and stack it up. Well, don't you worry about that stuff going bad? No, we got a pretty big size family. So that stuff gets used up pretty doggone quick. But like I said, Mama always tells me, I don't need nothing when she goes down there. Grandma says, I just don't really need nothing. And I say the same thing. Grandma, why you want to go down there? And she always says the same thing. Uh, Sir, you already said that. Yes, she wants to go look. She wants to see what's out there and touch everything and, you know, and I smell everything. My goodness, <laughs> why does it take four, five, six hours for her to shop? Well, she likes to go from aisle to aisle to aisle and look at everything and touch everything. Remember, we're on a holiday. We're on a day that we're going to Walmart. Wally Mart, we just enjoy it a lot. We just have so much fun and we just, just love to get out there. Well, let me ask you a question. So do you like their lines of clothing and things like that? No, nah, I don't really get in all that cool stuff. I'm more into the, you know, going to the gun section. Oh, but they stopped carrying bullets over there. I don't know why. I guess they were worried about us shooting the hell out of the somebody, but hell, hey, we all carry our guns anyway. <laughs> Whoa, did you say you all carry your guns anyway when you go to Walmart? Heck yeah, we're not worried about it. You know, we're just normal people. You know, we carry our guns with us just to have a good time. So you go over to Walmart and you check out their, their camping equipment and stuff. Oh yeah, they got great selection of camping equipment. They've got, they got all kinds of stuff that you can hunt in equipment, especially the ones that I live in. I mean, they got a beautiful shotgun that I'm getting my eyeball on and I'm planning on getting that sucker as soon as I get my money and we're going to get that money. We're going to go down there and get us something over at the Walmart. They always got to do a good job and they always seem to have the right prices. But, you know, more than anything, like I said, they got a nice fishing section. You can look at all the cool uh, stuff that you can go fishing or hunting or if you're wanting to be an outdoors type person, like most of us country folks is, we will survive. We go up there and we get everything at a discounted price because we know that our Walmart is going to take good care of us. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you know any people that work there? Oh, yeah, half the town works over at Walmart. And what we do is we all work at Walmart or we work at one of these places out in the middle of nowhere because we got to have a job. And they always supply us with really cool stuff. And a lot of the family members, like Bobby, he has got a nice job. He makes about $12 an hour now. He's been there for like 10 years, and he does pretty doggone good. He really enjoys, you know, himself working over there at the Wally Mart. Oh, my goodness. So, you you got family people that work there. You got moms and pops and grandma and granddaddy and everybody that goes over there to the Walmart. Oh, yeah, we make a big event. Like I said, we don't got a lot to do over at the house. I mean, we can get on swing and swing and swing. But after a while, you get swung too much and you get swinging bread brain. Ugh, swinging brain. And then you start looking at your cousins and going, well, she looks pretty damn good. What did you say? Um, nothing. Uh, that's a private thing. Uh <laughs> What did you say? Did you start looking at your kids? Well, you know, when you're on the swing, you start swinging. You start thinking about swinging, baby. I'm just saying. I'm out here in the country, okay? I'm a red what, Nick? Well, don't tell nobody. Well, hey, listen, we're on the radio. You don't think nobody's listening to this conversation? Well, that's okay. I don't really care. They're probably my cousins anyway. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's funny. So, hey, let me ask you a question there, big old John. So, why 
do you? What is your favorite thing about Walmart? I just love their produce. <laughs> you love their produce? Oh yeah, man. They got a selection of produce. Oh my goodness! You can get some of the freshest lettuce. You can get some of the freshest cucumbers. You can get some of the best stuff that you ever would want to eat over there at the Walmart. And I mean, they really do it well. And plus, I love you know they got this this thing called a bakery back in the back. And that bakery, oh man, you can get yourself a cook. You can get yourself some cakes, some cookies. You can get yourself some baked goods. And boy, you can get fat just enjoying that stuff. <laughs> Sounds like you really do love your Walmart. Oh yeah, I love the heck out of it. And also, they got some chicken. Ooh, Boy, did they got some chicken. You can get yourself a chicken meal, and I mean, boy, you can eat for days and days and days. They got some chickens over there that are like 50 pounds. They look as big as a daggone house, and my goodness, they're a pretty good price. About eight bucks. <laughs> are you kidding me, sir? Are you telling me you can get a big 50-pound chicken over there? I ain't never heard of that. Well, you know, that's us, 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 you know, us country folks. You know, we say a little bit bigger than it really is, but boy, it sure does got a lot of meat on it. That rotisserie, you know that rotisserie chicken? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good stuff. I really enjoy eating that myself. I think it's wonderful. Well, listen, guys, we're having a great conversation today. Uh, again, with our friend John. He is a redneck, and he loves, what's your favorite place? Oh, I love my Wally Mart. Walmart is the place to be, and the food is wonderful. And I'm going to tell you what, the people are nice. We all dress in all kind of weird outfits and costumes and stuff. What did you say? You dress in weird costumes and outfits. Yeah, man, you ever seen people the way they dress over at the Walmart? <laughs> you ain't never going to see a funnier place in all your life. You can get, I mean, people wearing their sleepwear up in there. You got people half naked. And I mean them girls, boy, I tell you what, they be wearing some of them shorty shorts that are so short that you can see tomorrow on them, okay? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we're having a good conversation with uh, John. I hope you enjoy this conversation because we're just having a wonderful time talking about his favorite place, the Walmart. I love my Walmart. I love it. I just think it's a wonderful place. But like I said, it can get kind of monotonous after a while because mom and grandma, all they want to do is spend all their money up there and they don't even need none. <laughs> that sounds pretty pathetic. That sounds pretty sad. No, that's pretty great, you know. And I hear now they got the capability where you can go online and you can go ahead and order all the cool stuff that you want that they ain't got. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff, just like, you know, that other place. Now that you can go over there and you can order anything you want, shoes, socks, whatever you want, and you can order it, and you can still get to go down there to Wally Mart and find stuff that you like. If you need a new computer, uh, uh, what'd you call it? A computer. Uh, what is a computer? Uh, it's a computer. Ah, oh, 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 yeah, you're right. They got those computers down there. They're pretty good, too. Yeah, they got the big old screens, and they got, what did you say? They got big screens. What do you mean they got, what the world did you say? They got big screens. T are you talking about TV screens, sir? Oh, uh, yeah. Them Wally Mart TV screens are bigger than everything. You can get anything over there at my favorite place to Walmart. Wally Mart, it's a great place to shop. You sound like an infomercial. You sound like a commercial for... <laughs> <laughs> for Walmart. Well, I love it. It's one of my favorite places to be. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to go up there this afternoon. I'm going to take Mama, Papa, Grandma, Granddaddy. We're going to get all the kids. We're going to get the dogs and the frogs. And everybody's going to get in the back of that pick them up truck. And we're going to go, yeah, We're going to go down there to our favorite place, which is what? What is it? Walmart. It's Walmart. It's the best place to be. You can get anything you want over there. And I'm going to tell you what. It is so much fun. Because when you're a redneck and you live out in the country and you ain't got nowhere else to go, your Walmart is your favorite place because they got everything out there. <laughs> okay, guys, we just had a wonderful conversation with John. John, boy, uh, I think that's what you said. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> he just told me that his favorite place to be is Walmart. Wally Marty, something like that. And well, listen, guys, we just had a great interview. Hope you enjoyed the comedy routine here. And remember, if you want to go shopping, go down there to Wally. Mart. You can even order stuff online now <laughs> and you can get a good deal, a good price and they do it all over there. 
Yeah, they even got banking over there. You can do your banking, and you can do your taxes, and you can do it all right over at the Watermark. Get yourself some new glasses, because if you can't see or if you need your nails done, they've got it all. Okay, all right, guys. Well, you heard it from John. He just went and had a great conversation about uh, going shopping down at this favorite place. That was Walmart. <laughs> oh, that's real good. I love me some Walmart. All right, guys, you heard it. Go on down there and put your smile on and enjoy your day. Get you some of that Wally Mart. I mean, uh, that's not Wally Mart. It's Walmart. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the conversation. John, you have a wonderful day. We had a great conversation with John and Walmart. So what do you think, guys? Give us a call and uh, let us know how we did. Okay? Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and go ahead and enjoy your comedy routine. Hope you enjoyed it. I, oh, it was wonderful. You did a great job. I just love me some Walmart. Uh, all right.